When was the last time you went swimming or diving underwater? Did you notice that when you were in the water, you could feel a force or weight of the water on your body? Now that's because the water was exerting a pressure on your body when you were inside the water. Similarly, although it's really surprising to know, even air that we walk around in has a very high amount of pressure acting on the objects that are in the air. Now right now, you wouldn't believe it, but tons and tons and tons of pressure is actually acting on our bodies, weighing down on us. Why is it then that we don't really know that this pressure is acting on our bodies? That's because our bodies are exerting a pressure, an equal pressure, outwards that's preventing our bodies from being crushed by the huge amount of pressure that air is exerting on our bodies. Now, let's do a little bit, let's talk about something that we have in daily life that actually shows us or proves that air actually has pressure or it exerts a pressure. Now, you might have been, um, you might have drunk something using a straw. So let's say you have a drink here and you're using a straw to drink that juice or drink. Now what happens when you suck the air out from this end of the straw? You see that the liquid or the juice goes up the straw and then you can drink it, right? Why does this happen? This happens because the moment you suck the air out from this end, this region over here that's empty has the air taken out from it. Now because this area is empty, something else has to rush in to take up that empty space. Nothing can remain in a vacuum. So whenever there is a vacuum, something else comes in to take up the space that was left empty. And that's exactly why the juice comes up the straw to take up the space that was kept there by the air before. Now this shows us that the the juice outside had some pressure acting on it that was pushing it down and up the straw. And that pressure came from the atmospheric pressure of the air. But why is it that air exerts pressure and how does it do that? Well, it's all due to the way that the molecules interact in the air with the objects. So imagine you have a table, right? There are millions and billions of air molecules in the air around it. And every single second or fractions of seconds, these molecules are constantly colliding with the table and with each other as well. So with any object for that matter. And whenever they exert a force due to the collision, they exert some force on that object. And this force comes off as the pressure of the air. Now you can imagine that the earth has an atmosphere around it and this atmosphere is made up of millions and millions and millions of air molecules. So just imagine all those molecules of air are weighing down on all the objects on the surface of the earth. That's a crushing thing to think about but it's all because of the pressure that our bodies are exerting outwards that prevent us from being crushed and that's how air actually exerts pressure.